Okay, so this video is going to be all about eyebrows. Never knew how important eyebrows were until you see somebody with like no eyebrows and you realize eyebrows are pretty important. So um, I like filling in my brows. I These are my natural brows. I don't have any product in them right now, but I do feel like I have kind of like these bare spots right here. Um, and I just like them looking a little thicker. And so what I do for my brows is I take my Hotline brush and the Contour Cola, and I kind of mimic hair-like strokes in them. Um, you can do this with any color contour that feels like it's matching your brows. Um, a lot of people also do this with shadow. The difference though I have found in filling with shadow is it's a little bit harder to get the natural hair-like strokes. Um, it fills really, really well. But if you're trying to get those little kind of hair like strokes, I think it's best to go in with contour, even if you just do it before the shadow. And so I'm gonna take my hotline brush and I'm gonna kind of pinch together these bristles. There's already some product on it, so it's like super fine. And I'm dipping into the contour color cola, like the lightest tap in the whole planet. And I'm gonna kind of reference down here, which is my mirror, so I can see. But I start at this baseline with an outline of kind of what I'm looking for. You want the base of your eyebrows to be darker than the top, especially if you have thicker brows, um, because that's how your eyebrow hairs would naturally be casting a shadow in your brow bone. Um, it's going to be darker underneath than it would be on top just because that's how light works. Um, so I'm going to kind of paint that line a little bit and then go in and start doing the strokes and I'm just pressing and flicking up. Hopefully you can see. So pressing, flicking up and letting some of them just kind of fall outside that natural line just slightly. And then coming here with a lighter hand and defining the top portion. So I went a little crazy with trimming up my brows and kind of left a patch open. And so I'm just filling that area so it's a little bit more squared. That's my child. <laughs> Um, and then I like kind of a more angled look to my brow where mine kind of just go and kind of just fall off um, like a rounded corner. I like a tiny bit more angle and so I follow my natural brow line and where I would actually like it to go and then go down. So if you can see that so hard to do this in a camera when you can't actually see, but taking it downwards. And then now you can see there's like this little gap right here, which I'll fill it with those hair like strokes again. And then you can kind of brush it out, make it look a bit more natural under here, and you're good to go. Do you see the difference? Not. Can you see is that focused <laughs> um, with this, these two? So I'll show you guys how to do it also with contour or with the, the, the eyeshadow. Um, if you do prefer that method, I'm using the exact same brush, pretty much the exact same um, method, but I'm gonna use eyeshadow. So I'm dipping into the color coal. Mine sadly broke. So I'm dipping into that color just slightly and oh, that off. Um, and I'm kind of creating that baseline. And bringing it around. And then the hair like strokes as well. So this is a pretty deep color. So I'm trying to be 
pretty careful with it. I've got a little contour left in my brush. And then you see how I went and I filled that angle in. So I'm not just like painting it on. I'm always lifting my brush and kind of pressure off pressure off and just take those flicks and that's what's gonna mimic those hair strokes better and there you have it um to make sure that they stay all day i'm gonna use my stay spray and i'm going to coat the spoolie and just kind of brush them through And I kind of brush these top ones up a little, make them look a little fluffier, and then down. So that's how I do my brows um, with contour or eyeshadow. I love when you can kind of multi-use products and you're not having to go buy another brow kit when you have the products that you need already in your compact. So that's my tip for you guys today. Um, if you enjoyed it, and you want to see more, let me know down below in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and I will link all these products down below as well. Thanks so much, guys.